that's available for rentals and um, parties and things. Obviously, no parties going on right now. So I rented it out for today and next Saturday to do some artwork in here because it's a big space and that's what I need, I need space. So you're here with me today. And um, I'm gonna show you how I set the room up and talk you through what I'm gonna be doing. And then I'm gonna get started so that I can make the most of the six hours that I have in here today. Okay, so on this side of the room, I set up for painting. And um, painting flat on the floor is probably not ideal, <laughs> but it's a really big surface and I don't think I'm gonna be able to um, do it on a table surface because I just won't be able to reach correctly, I think. I'm gonna start this way and then if it gets too hard or I think I can use a table surface, I will. So um, this is a really big piece for me and uh, it's gonna take a while to dry. So I'm gonna start with the painting and then over here I've set up for sewing. So. Um, I will move on to sewing once I've got a good amount of the painting done. And as you can see, it's a really bright, sunny room. Probably gonna open up those blinds and let in more light. So yeah, come along with me, here we go. right now but what you're seeing is um, the progression of laying out the compositions oh if you see the boat here laying in a ground of kind of blue indigo black sky that's what's coming here so we've got the 
you know, kind of basic shapes laying out of um, to what the boat, where the boat will be. And then I'm just putting in ground right now. So the background, like, which will be one of many, many layers of background is what you can see there. everybody just checking in so I have been working for about an hour and 20 minutes on the painting portion of my day and so far it's coming along it's really about today's about laying down the ground um, so it's not really about getting anywhere near completion <laughs> but it's um, it's coming along and it's I'm getting to a point now where I'm gonna add, I think, one more layer of paint, and then I'm gonna move on to sewing. Um, so I just wanted to tell you a bit about this project. I, I think I've given you a little bit of information, but I just wanted to flesh it out. So what is happening is, the um, a whole bunch of artists from Burnaby are getting together to do a a um, arts festival. I'm gonna set this down so I don't have to hold it. And that is happening July 16th. It's right, July, January 16th to January 30th. Uh, obviously right now is a little bit of a precarious time when it comes to arts festivals because um, here in BC right now we're not even supposed to be gathering in groups outdoors or indoors so the project that I'm proposing is an installation and what it is is basically the top part of a blanket fort so if you imagine laying in a blanket fort and looking up you see kind of mishmash of blankets and sheets and fabric above you and it was inspired by our own COVID experience where my son created a little blanket fort area for himself to, you know, just help ease his anxiety and to give him a space that was just his own in our home. And so that's kind of what I was trying to convey to people dealing with this, epic, this pandemic is um, you can come under here and you can have a little meditation for five minutes and you can 
experience a calm outdoor space where you don't need to be thinking about safety or um, you can just kind of enjoy the nostalgia, the, the nostalgic feeling of a blanket fort. Um, so I'm constructing the top of that today uh, and next week. I'm hoping to get most of it done today, but it's French seams, which I think I did tell you about before. And French seams are not that tricky to do, but they just take, I just have to be careful. And also um, combining all the different components of it. So there'll be basically three really large uh, rows that need to be con um, sewn together. Uh, so all of that work has to be completed by January 16th. That's the opening day of the festival. And I will be putting it up. Whether I put it up with uh, permission or not is still up in the air. It is obviously not gonna hurt anything. It's something that will have ties on it so I can attach it to trees. And I'm also gonna have poles. And the poles are probably the most iffy part for me, like how this structure is going to be standing and secure if it's windy and things like that is my biggest concern right now because I don't really know and I'm gonna make the top I'm gonna make it and then we're gonna figure out how to make it stand up so there'll be three sessions where people are going to be able to come and book a spot and come and experience the blanket for it and um, I think there's gonna be some press around it and it's it's a great, I'm really excited and it's also something that I'll be able to, you know, uh, propose to other arts festivals in the future. Um, you know, I'll be able to offer it as a installation that can be portable and easily put up and experienced by people. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about sewing it together and a, little, and a lot nervous about figuring out how to make it stand up on its own safely, but that is part of this process of having these ideas and then bringing them to fruition. And I did get a small neighborhood grant to make this happen for people, so that is uh, really helpful covering cost supplies and a little bit of a fee for myself, and it's just a really good feeling of um, of like encouragement as an artist who's trying to create something that would be participatory for the community and help the community hopefully at this time uh, so that is a big project I'm working on right now along with this painting which is going to be the final piece in this series I thought I was going to add another one but at this stage, I am a little fatigued with that body of work and I need to like finish this piece and then put it to bed and then move on to my next big project. Um, yeah, because I've always got little pieces on the go as well and little other little things that I have to be working on at the same time. So um, I'll work on those little pieces while I'm developing the next body of work. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna just finish up painting in a few minutes and then I'm going to um, switch on over to sewing and I'm gonna go in and have some lunch um, at 12.30 with my family because the beauty about being in this space as my studio is that I literally just walk down the, down the street. It's like a 15 second walk away to my house, <laughs> so not really far away from them. I'm right here. And they might come over and hang out too, who knows. So um, I have this space until 4 p.m. today. So I'm gonna take, make, take advantage of it and then I rent it out again next Saturday and then we'll see how far I can get with these. I might end up doing more. This is a really, like just being in here for a couple hours thus far, it's really ideal for what I'm trying to do because there's a lot of space and I can spread out and I can focus and there's good light and there's a little kettle and there's a bathroom if I need it and it's just like perfection <laughs> for using as a little art studio, as an art studio. So this might be my future um, 
my future plan for work development if I feel that uh, if I don't get an artist residency that I applied for and if I don't feel like I can do it at home just because the space is so limited there. Um, this is kind of a really nice affordable alternative. So, okay, I'll check in again later. Okay, so I did a little bit of a rearrange once I started um, deciding on how I was going to start working today. I need to cut fabric and it's a big piece that I have to cut. So I added an extra table on this side and then I also added another table for the ironing board table and um, this one should be in the middle there. So this is how I've set it up for now and what I'm going to be doing is cutting fabric. These are going to be half square triangles so I have to um, get it as even as possible and then cut it in half diagonally and sew it to the purple um, and then I'm going to try working on the first row today and see how that comes together and yeah that's the way I've got the room here's the painting drawing over here uh, I think I might do one more layer of paint this afternoon but I need to check at home and see if I have any black paint uh, if I don't, I'm just going to use up the blue and the indigo and the red that I have. And this should be the first layer of paint done today. And uh, yeah, that is where I am right now. It's about 11.30, so I have about an hour before I'm going to go have some lunch. <laughs> almost 4 30 and I am tired I am tired um, so this is the end of day one so I got I'll show you how far I got on my painting and then I got one row done of give me shelter so I think that's pretty good it took me a while to figure out um, how I wanted the like the colors and I, I do need to go buy more fabric so I'm gonna have to do that this week and um, hopefully I can finish sewing the main part next week um, and it's a lot I feel tired my I'm sore <laughs> uh, I'm not used to working like this for a day so it's quite interesting actually to see how far your stamina could go but uh, yeah it's getting dark out and uh, I will check in again next week when I'm back in this space and I am working again on this project.